the beginning of the epidemic, where the hospitals were packed with AIDS patients, where the staff was afraid to go into the rooms, they would leave the trays on the floor. White male with HIV, they were the focus. But our fight was also that we minorities, that we didn't necessarily feel represented. Some people were seeing the AIDS epidemic raging in our community. They could not turn a blind eye to what they were seeing. According to my mom at the time, there was a lot of talking around kitchen tables around a lot of these issues um, for many years. A meeting was convened of various people, including my parents, Josie and Jose Morales, and our beloved Dennis de Leon, to talk about how to go forward. And the other person that mom remembered vividly at that first meeting was Helen Rodriguez Trias, who was a leader in our community, first Latina president of the American Public Health Association. And that meeting led to the founding of the Latino Commission on AIDS. Their vision was to create an organization that will combine programs, build advocacy, and also ensure to involve those most impacted by this epidemic. There's a lot of things that is empowering you in this society. Uh, and I think the Latino Commission really helps to empower individuals who have been disempowered. By bringing this personal power and moving forward and transforming their lives. People were asking the Commission to go to North Carolina, to go to Georgia, to go to Texas, to go to Puerto Rico. And our work began to be driven by what the needs uh, were unmet uh, outside New York. So what the commission did is they implemented a capacity building assistance program. We provide training to organizations so they can develop in their local towns leadership and they can develop services. We created a National Latino AIDS Awareness Day and every year there are 150, 200 events nationwide where local communities organize this event. So we create a model, they implement it, and they grow the model. I hope you are very happy. The test right now is how we maintain or sustain that sense of urgency, especially with young folks. HIV has been good in terms of teaching us how to advocate, and not just to get better services, but also to educate the community.